Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 11 talking about how to use AI for testing and today we'll be continuing with our next segment which is 11.5 using AI for defect prediction. Well, talking about predictions would be something really interesting to talk about and of course understand if it could help us, that is AI could help us to detect the defects or predict that where exactly are the defective areas would be something really interesting for us to talk about and understand if we can really apply that to take help of AI to do this particular better testing. Now defect prediction can be used to predict whether a defect is present, how many defects are present or whether defects can be found. This capability depends on the sophistication of the tool used. That's very important, of course, because given that if you have a tool which is capable of doing that, then it would make more sense. Now, certainly we do understand AIs doesn't work without any kind of training. So we have to give them some kind of training which helps us to identify the typical areas where we can get the defect. Now, results are normally used to prioritize the testing. Uh, example, more test for those components where more defects are predicted, right? So defect prediction is typically based on source code matrices, process matrices, and or people and organization matrices. Due to there being so many potential factors to consider, determining the relationship between these factors and the likelihood of defect is beyond human capabilities. As a result, using an AI-based approach, which typically uses ML, is necessity. Defect prediction is most effective when based on prior experiences in a similar situation, which is concluding at the end of the day. So given that at the same time, I think this is very contradicting statement. When we say one way that it is difficult to human for human to determine where exactly the likelihood and you know the presence of defects are, and another side you're saying that it depends on the prior experience of similar situation. So one or the other way, someone has to train the AI, right? AI is not God gifted. So until unless we have those set of matrices, what we really know that can help us to determine where are the predictions of defects. Like when we use the techniques, error guessing, experience based techniques, we use our intuition, past experience and knowledge of typical defects which happen in certain system. We look forward to encounter those defects by interacting with the system. So similar kind of matrices should be used to train the AI model so that the AI can do that job. But I'm not sure how far that would be meaningful because an AI could be seen as a culprit then if they put your efforts unwantedly somewhere else or if they could not be able to predict. But given that a human understands and be precise on how exactly we can predict the defect, the AI would be able to do that, right? So right here in the same passage, they are also telling you exactly the same thing that human cannot have all the capabilities to determine the prediction of defects, thus the AI should not be able to do that same thing, right? I'm not sure how far this is true and how exactly they will be looking forward to, but yes, given that as we apply error guessing and experience-based techniques based on our intuition, that intuition can be established in AI ML models to do the same job. Now, defect, defect prediction, defect prediction using ML model has been successfully used in several different situations. The best predictors have been found to be people and organizational measures rather than the more widely used source code matrix such as lines of code and cyclometric complexity. Now, of course, that's what uh, was my second intuition to talk about and that line covers that pretty well. The AI could be helpful in detecting cancers or medical ailments by diagnosing it because that, those are something which is as a pattern, right? You look at some pattern of the body x-rays or MRI scans or CT scans and AI can detect those kind of patterns and tell you that whether the person is diagnosed with cancer or any other ailment, right? But when it comes to talking about the source code matrices or which could be very, very distinct and unique about different products, which would be very diversified for an AI-based system. So I'm not sure how far this takes to build up this, but before humans get confident about this, an AI would not be able to help you, right? So let's look forward to it and how exactly the research goes on and how this could be really helpful in detecting and predicting the defects in a software or using it for testing. 
Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.